Thank you for coming to hear more about the draft recovery strategy for Greater Christchurch area. This strategy is about how the region will recover for everyone that lives here, so it's vital that you and other people from across our community take the time to read it, ask questions and comment on it before Sunday 30th October. What will recovery look like? And does this strategy match your vision of recovery? These are really important questions to ask yourself when considering your response to the draft strategy. This document will become the roadmap for recovery from the 2010 and 2011 earthquakes, including direction for the major activities needed to make the recovery well-coordinated, effective and timely. It's also the overarching document within which a series of more specific recovery plans and programs for Greater Christchurch sit. One of these is the Central City Plan, the draft of which was released by the Christchurch City Council in August. Please take the opportunity to talk to the people we've brought here today. They'll be able to provide you with more information on the areas of the strategy that interest you most. More information is available on the CERA website, www.cera.govt.nz. Thanks to everyone else who came to our first community engagement sessions in June and July. Along with our partner organisations and other key groups, your input was vital to the development of the draft document. I'll now hand over, hand over to Viv Smith a member of CERA's hard-working strategy, policy and planning team, helped to draft the document and will provide you with more detail on it. Hi, I'd like to tell you a bit more about the draft recovery strategy. I'll talk about some of the key parts of the draft strategy, including the recovery plans and programs. I'll also outline how you can be involved and give us your comments on the draft strategy. And then I'll just talk about how the draft strategy will be approved. The recovery strategy is an overarching document and provides direction and clarity at a broad level. The details are provided in the recovery plans and programs. The strategy aims to provide direction for everyone working on recovery activities. Recovery will be achieved through lots of activities being undertaken by many different agencies. It is important that everyone is working to the same direction. Because there are a lot of people involved in recovery activities, they need to be confident that what should be happening is happening. The recovery strategy provides for this. Recovery includes enhancement. The strategy is not just taking us back to before the earthquakes, but helps to identify opportunities for the future. If you want to see how the strategy works, it's shown in this diagram. The strategy's overall vision is at the centre, with the four main components around the outside. The way that the strategy will be implemented is also shown. Take a look at the large panel of this in the hall, and you might like to select an area that you want more information about. Staff with expertise in each area are available to talk to you. Take a look through the document. Each area has a highlighted part that shows what the strategy is all about. For example, section 4 and section 7.3 in the draft strategy set out some key milestones and timelines for recovery plans and activities. The strategy is for a steady pace for the recovery and you'll see the different milestones for the five components of recovery. Another example is in section five where the strategy is to use and build on the existing documents that we have that set out strategic direction for each section. Recovery will build on this rather than starting completely afresh. The preparation of six recovery plans is outlined in the draft strategy. A range of organisations will lead development of the recovery plans and many agencies will be involved. There is a specific process for the development and approval of recovery plans and all recovery plans will be publicly notified and comments sought. Have a look at Appendix 2 in the draft strategy. It has details about each of the plans. 
The draft recovery strategy does not include all the recovery work being undertaken by the many agencies, communities and individuals, but highlights some of the key activities. Many of these programmes are already underway, such as the Worst Affected Suburbs programme that includes the land zoning decisions and processes. Again, have a look at Appendix 2 of the draft strategy and you'll find more information about the programmes there. There are many ways that you can take part in consultation on the draft recovery strategy. For example, coming to the session to find out more before you make your comments. I hope you have already received a copy of the summary document in your letterbox. You can fill out the comment form inside. You can drop it off this evening or you can post it back to us. You can also make comments online at www.sera.govt.nz. If you'd like to lead a discussion on the strategy and encourage others to make comments, look for the PowerPoint presentation and a discussion guide for members of the community, which is available on the CERA website. We are working to deliver the final recovery strategy to the incoming Minister for Earthquake Recovery in late December. We expect that the recovery strategy to be approved by the Governor-General early next year. Thanks again for coming today. We look forward to receiving your comments.